Hi, my name is Jared, and I'm a technical support engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. This video is part of our technical support tips and tricks video series. This video covers how to connect to the PCB services database within Altium when using SolidWorks PCB connector in order to create a new project in Altium that is managed by PCB services. In order to begin, we need to log in to our Altium Live account. Once logged into our Altium Live account, you can then go to Custom, and here's where you can enter the address of the PCB services installation. Uh, again, it can be localhost colon 9780 if PCB services is installed on the same computer, or you would need to enter the server name colon 9780. For this example, I'll use the default credentials of admin for username as well as admin for password and you can choose to sign in automatically. Once signed into PCB services you'll notice that the current user information displays the credentials used to log in. Now we can create a new project, file, new, project, and here's where we want to make sure that the Altium Vault is selected. When logged into PCB Services, the Altium Vault will actually be the PCB Services repository. Give our project a specific name and create. Once the project is generated, you can see that the project lies under the Altium Vault, which in this case would be the PCB Services repository, and it is outside of the default Altium Project Group 1.dsnwrk. This means that this particular project will be managed by PCB Services. And from here, you can go ahead and right-click, and add your schematics, PCB documents, etc. I hope this video has been helpful outlining how to connect to the PCB services database within Altium when using the SolidWorks PCB connector in order to create a new project in Altium that is managed by PCB services. Thank you for watching and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at www.hawkridgesys.com for more knowledge-based material.